And now Dr Crokes await in Sunday's Monster Club final. Playing careers aren't long at UCC, but club spirit is as strong here as anywhere else. When these guys come in, they, they don't talk about where they're from. They study together, they live together, they eat together, they socialise together. Uh, they have four years in UCC and, it, and that's where the club thing comes about. It's unlike other clubs insofar as there's very few members. We don't go in for meetings or committees or anything. It's pure football and it's very enjoyable. The, there's a sense of abandon about it. It's, it's not pressure. The inter-county feel of this student side is certainly interesting. The panel includes 12 rebel natives, one each from Tipperary, Kildare and Roscommon, as well as a remarkable 14 Kerry men. I reject any notion that we're running a nursery for Kerry up here. <laughs> and there are those who would suggest that if you are, you're doing a good job of it. <laughs> <laughs> Purely coincidental, Joe. It breaks my heart to see such great players go back down there. And the kingdom factor goes further. Dahi Casey and Johnny Buckley, two key players in securing the county title for the college, will be playing for Croaks in Sunday's showdown. Teammates are suddenly opponents. To be honest, for 60 minutes on Sunday, we won't really take any difference, and we, we'll give it hard to the two lads, and they'll give it hard back to us. You know, like Johnny's living with Stephen O'Brien and Peter Crowley here as well, which was, must have been a strange host for the last two weeks. You know, it's rare to find a Kerry man who will be hoping for a Cork success, particularly when they're playing a Kerry side but with 14 Kingdom players in this UCC side. That's exactly what plenty will be hoping for at Fitzgerald Stadium on Sunday. Joe Stack, RTE News, Cork.